no plans, no plans at all Evil man's always transcending Fight her like sheep, swallow everything Always simple tins or pretending We got no plans this is your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net, and it's story time again, boys and girls. You may recall that in a moment of clarity a few months back, I told you the story of a factory-farmed pig named Oinky. Well, now we're going to hear about a new pig also named Oinky, but this one's not on a factory farm. This one is a banker, so picture a pig, but fatter and less cuddly. You see, up until 2008, Oinky went around sucking up all the money he could by getting people to sign up for mortgages that he knew they couldn't afford. But luckily, it didn't matter whether the people could afford them or not, because he got a big old bonus and other rich people would then bet on whether the homeowners could pay or not. Sure, it meant that millions of families would lose their homes and their entire life savings, and let's be honest, that wreaks havoc on a family, so then there's, you know, divorces and custody battles, and but we're getting off track here. Point is, Oinky got fatter. Hooray! But then the unthinkable happened. Too many people couldn't pay and the whole thing collapsed. But lucky for Oinky, socialism came to the rescue. The whole country pulled its money to pay for the gambling losses of the big banks and saved the day. And the banks were saved and the economy was saved. And the only ones who got hurt were the millions of sad sacks who lost their homes and their jobs and their savings and their good credit ratings and perhaps their spouses and maybe their children. Hooray! So now it's been a few years and Oinky has thought to himself, man, you know what I liked? I liked when all those confused people were giving me loads of money for no reason. And since no one punished me last time I did this, clearly I can just get right back to it. So Oinky and the big banks have found a new form of predatory lending in which he tricks really desperate people into taking out loans. The banks do this because they're counting on the fact that people won't be able to pay. They want you to not be able to pay. But the high interest rates aren't enough. So on the day the loan is due, the full amount plus the fee are immediately subtracted from the person's account. If there's not enough money in the account, which is a lot of the time, because that's why they took out a loan. They don't have a lot of money. The person is then charged an overdraft fee and other fees, which quickly snowball into a spiral of debt deeper than Nicki Minaj's understanding of particle physics. Oh, uh, okay, a, a lot deeper than that. So a lot of lives are destroyed, but the important thing is Oinky gets fatter. And then if you say to him, what the fuck are you doing? What do you do? This is fucking awful. These are people's lives. He responds, what? I gave him the loan. It's kind of like a date rapist going, what? I paid for the dinner. You see, in our world where the big banks own most of our elected officials and therefore essentially regulate themselves, they live by a simple maxim. It's all fun and games until someone loses an eye. But then it's still fun because due to their lack of depth perception, I win all the games. That's your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net. And it was based on an article by Diane Sweet. You can read the whole article at CrooksAndLiars.com. Also, check out my interview with Rocky Anderson, a presidential candidate who wants to prosecute the big banks and this country's war criminals. It's free to listen on the Moment of Clarity podcast on iTunes, Stitcher, Android app, or LeeCamp.net. Plans, no plans at all. Evil man's always transcending. Fight her like sheep, swallow everything. Always simple tins or pretend.